Dear citizens of Department of Re-Education regrets to inform you that your life mate Julia Harris 1921 has expired while undergoing re-education therapy. We accept no liability in regards to the unfortunate demise of your biological life mate. Please know the Department of Revenue Protective Debit of 12000 World Credits will be made from your next month's salary account to cover incinerating costs of the physical cash of Julia Harris 1921 in view of the situation the department has matched off string area Gaultier I 4567 and Kelly Gaultier I 666 to suitable foster parents in Upper Republic of Cambodia. I've been having bad, bad dreams, dreams lately. lately. About yeah. things falling from the sky and society breaking apart. I haven't slept properly in weeks, and the sleeping pills the doctors at work will give me weren't working at all. But I dare tell no one this, because I was one of the lucky ones. I was lucky to have a job, lucky to be employed. I was lucky to be alive. I could well be dead. I just wish I could get some sleep. I work for the railway and they've just cancelled all leave. We're working as we have been working for the last seven years on emergency conditions. This means they can hook us up for double shifts, triple shifts, back-to-back 14-day fortnights. We work around the clock. And when we ask for time off, they say to us, We live in dangerous times, but we all have to pull our weight for the great cause. And the great cause was Mars. Yes, we do live in dangerous times, brother. Because we're all chained to one another by fear. Fear of the unexpected detonation in the underground. Fear of the atomic blast from the sky. Or fear of the virus lurking within us. But the biggest fear of all was the fear of disappearing. Everyone knew somebody who had become a nobody. Disappearance meant re-education and re-education meant the long hard road to the incinerators. I also figured out this, that once things were different to the way they are now. And after all the long shifts and all the sleepless nights, I had time to think about why things were the way they were. And then one day I knew what it was I had to do. I was going to wake everyone up. The revelation came to me in a flash of God-given inspiration. Once I had worked out the entire thing, I then knew why it was I couldn't get any sleep. It was all because of the microchip in my head. Juan Galtieri, 11.38, and today is my birthday. I think it all really started with the microchip implants. People were so afraid, they'd do anything for protection. Those of us that weren't implanted at birth, were implanted in puberty. I have a theory that the chip sends out subliminal messages to the brain and television is meant to work in conjunction with these signals. So over a period of years, I built my device. I only needed one ingredient to make the device complete. I called it the big cuckoo clock. Biological stock stolen by terrorists authorities are trying to determine how golden hydra terrorists broke security. My next objective was to get Big Brother out of my head. They could track us. They might even know what we felt. They fed lies to our minds. Convinced us we'd die without them. The next day, I'm on a train again. But this time, I'm delivering the payload. 
I'm heading for the capital where they keep the computer banks that service the world government. Once the nanobiological agent in this device spreads to those computer banks, every computer system in the world will be disabled. The world, as we know it, will cease to be. And what will happen when the microchips that track us no longer work? When a government that rules from Mars is split from the body, then things will fall from the sky. And then for a moment I wonder if I've done the right thing. And I know only time will tell. What kind of world do we want to live in? after we've rebuilt from the ashes of this one. What kind of world do we want to leave our children? Already I can feel the train's wheels slowing down. I think we're going to be stuck in this section for a while. I might just put my feet up and just catch a snooze.